हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ सुपर बग्स सुपर बग्स और बैक्टीरिया दैट आर डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रीट सिंस दे हैव डेवलप्ड रेसिस्टेंस टू कॉमन एंटीबायोटिक्स दैट हैव बीन यूज्ड टू ट्रीट देम दिस इज प्रोफेसर विजय राघवन इन योर फेवरेट बीजे गेटवल चैनल नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन टू यू हाउ अ बैक्टीरिया बिकम्स अ सुपर बग लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस इन सिंपल टर्म्स when an antibiotic is not able to kill or arrest the multiplication of a bacteria we say that this bacteria has developed resistance to that antibiotic here the term resistance is specific to a bacteria in relation to an antibiotic which has become ineffective how has this bacteria managed to develop resistance to this antibiotic it either undergoes mutation or creates specific proteins that this antibiotic cannot break down making that bacteria resistant to that antibiotic of course it is a matter of concern that this bacteria can also share its drug resistance capabilities with a neighboring bacteria by sharing genetic information then what is the solution obviously one has to choose another antibiotic which will be effective in attacking this bacteria in other words you choose an alternative antibiotic for which the bacteria is still sensitive meaning that this antibiotic can still effectively attack that bacteria now some other bacteria intelligent as they are can manage to develop resistance to this antibiotic also over a period of time when the bacteria keeps developing resistance to more and more antibiotics in this patient we start calling them multi drug resistant bacteria in other words this bacteria has become difficult to treat and has started posing a challenge to antibiotic treatment these organisms that are resistant to multiple drugs are called the superbugs scientists are at it of course to discover newer antibiotics with a fond hope of defeating the superbugs thus to meet and beat the challenges of the superbugs super drugs are born this battle continues Meanwhile here is what you need to know about superbugs in simple terms superbugs are bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics this poses a problem to the clinicians let me illustrate when a patient comes in with a bacterial infection the doctor may prescribe an antibiotic that targets a specific bad bacteria causing the illness this antibiotic let us say is best at eliminating the bacteria causing the infection but bacteria are smart and they have been around for millions of years so they can over a period of time mutate to become resistant to this antibiotic because of which the antibiotic loses its effectiveness on this bacteria for example if a child has repeated ear infection penicillin is used to treat the child but it may not be effective at one point of time against that bacteria causing the ear infection This process can happen in some cases even in matter of few days then the doctor picks up alternative antibiotic and tries however using multiple antibiotics over a time might result in the bacteria becoming resistant to all types of antibiotics what does it mean that means they have become superbugs and they are at their best in staving off the antibiotics from killing them unfortunately symptoms of a superbug infection usually looks like any other infection Antibiotic resistant bugs are more common in countries that prescribe antibiotics more readily as in our country. Diagnosing which drug will work against a super bug will require laboratory testing. When a patient comes in with a set of symptoms, a doctor may prescribe an antibiotic generally appropriate for the patient and simultaneously go for sensitivity tests which may take days to identify a drug that will work at its best. I can see you contemplating should I still take an antibiotic at all when I am sick please understand this antibiotics are effective in fighting off infections and some other antibiotics can still be effective in treating superbugs that have not yet become resistant to all the antibiotics on earth antibiotics in fact are life saving drugs that is the reason why they have been used worldwide for such a long time why cases of doctors prescribing antibiotics when unnecessary are decreasing it is still happening and can contribute to drug resistance for example a virus may be causing an infection as in the case of any throat infections and taking an antibiotic may not treat it still an antibiotic may be prescribed here a final word 
if you are prescribed an antibiotic by a doctor take it as directed however do not self prescribe antibiotics when you feel sick